The iconic T-Rex is one of the deadliest predators of all time. Its powerful predator jaws contain over 60 thick, bone-shattering teeth and bite force that is enough to crush a car. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Jurassic World Evolution 2 video. Today's video is another species field guide and for one of the most infamous dinosaurs ever, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So welcome back to another Evolution 2 video, I hope you're all having a fantastic day today and excited for this. Unfortunately I don't believe there's much news about T-Rex over on the forums that they usually do. Sometimes they tease a bit of information just like they did for the Brachiosaurus, but what we do know is that T-Rexes can hunt Brachiosauruses, uh, whether that's in a pack or singular, it's a, it, that's another question. I do hope we'll get information regarding that, uh, because we know there's pack hunting, we know Velociraptors can pack hunt, but we don't know if T-Rexes can. But I think it's safe to say that loads of you guys would be excited to see a group of T-Rexes, or even two T-Rexes, hunting down because it does seem like we are able to put two T-Rexes in the same exhibit. Now, probably that will be similar to how we had in Evolution 1, where it will be a social trait to change. But let's get into the breakdown. As you can see in the first scene, we can see a new model of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. It is definitely different from the Evolution 1 model, and I believe this is more Rexy-esque. It seems more similar to the movies when they use the animatronics, rather than the CGI, and that's a really good choice in their behalf, because personally speaking, I didn't really notice much different from when we were looking at previous images of the T-Rex for Evolution 2, but now looking at the Species Field Guide, it's safe to say that it's definitely different, and it looks awesome. I do think this is a great model, and we get to see two skins already off the bat, we get to see this Tyrannosaurus Rex skin which seems to have some sort of step-esque type of pattern and then we have an alpine type of Tyrannosaurus Rex in the background as well. But what I do want to notice and specifically talk about is the water underneath the legs. I don't know about you guys but that looks very impressive, it looks a lot better than to the water we've seen in Evolution 1. They must have sorted out their reflections and made it look a lot better, maybe RTX or something of the sorts. Either way, the water to me just looks absolutely brilliant and looks so much better. Next we get to see a social interaction. Now we know social interactions are going to be a thing in Evolution 2 with all species of dinosaurs. And the T-Rex is not an exception, it also has social interactions right here. Now instead of fighting and proper killing each other to the death, it seems like having two Tyrannosaurus Rexes is going to be entirely possible. And it seems like, you know, both of these Rexes aren't exactly just going for the kill, it seems like they're more on the playing side of things rather than the killing type of things. They seem to do some soft headbutts and be all happy with each other's company, but I assume having third but I assume having a third Tyrannosaurus Rex won't entirely make things pleasurable, let's say. So yes, it's uh, it's going to be one of these things where you'll probably have to sort out the social gene for both of these dinosaurs. Either way, if you do have two, you can have them react to each other in a nice playful way. Now the third scene is probably one of my favourites to say the least. If you guys have seen the Lost World Jurassic Park, you would know about Eddie Carr's death scene, and this scene right here reminisces exactly that, and it's a really cool little easter egg. As we can see, we have a ranger in a jeep which doesn't seem to be scared or moving away, unfortunately. However, nonetheless, we have both of the T-Rexes interacting with the jeep. If you notice, both of their heads, no matter what angle they're at, focuses on this jeep and looks towards this jeep. Now one thing I don't know is returning, or we don't entirely know is returning, in Evolution 2 is vehicle damage. I'm sure that they will be able to attack vehicles, but whether or not proper vehicle damage and explosions like in JPOG would happen, or even minuscule explosions like in Evolution 1 in Return to Jurassic Park DLC, that's something I don't think has been spoken about. But if they're intending for these T-Rexes to look upon these vehicles and then in the next scene see that it kind of reacts to the T-Rex roaring, I guess it's in a way safe to say that these vehicles will be destructive and dinosaurs will chase down these vehicles and attack these vehicles. Now that's going to be really interesting with the new ranger post mechanic that's been added into Evolution 2. I'm intrigued to see how that's going to work. But yes, this is definitely one of my favourite scenes, both of the T-Rexes having their eyes and head focused on this ranger jeep. And then in the next scene, whilst the T-Rex does roar, we can see inside the Ranger Jeep, which hopefully will be a camera angle. And hopefully the camera will shake when the T-Rex does roar, and that this wasn't just through a matter of editing. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen, that is the species field guide for Jurassic World Evolution 2's Tyrannosaurus Rex. I'm very excited and probably one of 
the most infamous and anticipated dinosaurs for evolution too it's safe to say loads of you love it and personally speaking i'm getting excited for it <laughs> we knew it was going to be in a roster we knew it's there we've seen it already but even the species field guide shows us just that little bit more which i'm entirely grateful for let's say but anyways guys thank you so much for watching today's video unfortunately there's nothing on the uh, forum post for frontiers uh, evolution 2 side you know they usually post little bits of information the only information we have regarding t-rex for the game is that they're pretty aggressive and not terribly sociable so it shows that maybe just having an extra one won't be a bad thing and that you don't really need to worry about having lots of company in their enclosure. But do keep in mind that they'll need both sand and forest terrain in their habitats. So it's important to consider this when planning your parks. Not too sure why the T-Rex needs sand, however, we'll roll with it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. We'll have another video up later today, I believe around two hours from this video being uploaded. So do stick around if you want more Evolution 2 content, because we definitely have a few exciting things in the coming weeks leading up to the release for Evolution 2. But in the meantime, stay safe out there, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here, as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.